Hey everybody, I'm JJW from the UMCOC server on Discord. If you uh, haven't heard, there is a video posted up in the corner over there uh, with a detailed breakdown of the timeline for the attack on myself and the UMCOC server uh, on November 14th and how I overcame that attack with the help of my mods and admins and, um, and, and how I regained control from a villain hacker. So if you haven't already, go check that video out later, but this is a short video focused entirely on helping you make sure your server is safe and secure. So the big takeaway here is trust no one. So let's get into this. First things first, server owners, change your password right now. Maybe your account is fine and has never been compromised Maybe it has, and you don't know, because a clever villain will compromise your attack and won't do anything to tip you off. So change your password right now. This is going to revoke all of your login tokens from, from your app on your phone, from your app on your computer or computers, and from your browser. And you'll have to log in again. Oh no, this costs you nothing, and it makes sure that nobody else can get into your account. If you haven't already... Enable two-factor authentication. Add your phone number for verification, add your email address for, for verification, download your backup codes, but enable your two-factor authentication. If you don't already have one, um, there's several authenticator apps. Uh, Google, Google Authenticator here is uh, very popular, but uh, I prefer both LastPass and uh, Microsoft Authenticator. Those are very good uh, authenticator apps and they allow you to synchronize your authentication codes to your account so if you lose your phone upgrade your phone change your phone phone gets stolen whatever um, you're able to log back into your account and recover your um, authentication codes so if you don't already have an authenticator get one of these um, and, and also if you're not using a password manager uh, LastPass is good I think there's one password there's a couple other good password managers Require two-factor authentication for moderation. On your server settings, go to the security settings subset and make sure that that button is red. If it's green, turn it on. Enable two-factor authentication for yourself and then require two-factor authentication for any moderation actions by anyone on your server. So a moderator or an admin that has managed roles, manage um, messages, kick users, ban users, manage server, any kind of permission like that, those type of users should be two-factor authenticated. Max out your server security in moderation. So on your server settings, go to moderation and make sure your verification level is all the way down to must have a verified phone on their Discord account. There's not a good reason for it to be easier than that for people to get back in your server, especially if a villain is attacking you with uh, multiple accounts. Rolls an account, joins a server, tries an attack. Rolls an account, joins a server, tries an account, uh, an, an, an attack. Force users that join your server to have a phone. The only reason they're there is because they're playing Contest of Champions or some other game, so they have a phone. So, enforce this. Temporarily demote, whoop, let me go back. Temporarily demote your administrators. So once you've secured your account by changing your password and enabled two-factor authentication, turn off all of your administrators' powers or take them out of the roles or do something, but temporarily demote them until you verify that they have also secured their accounts. This is about being safer than sorry. This is about making sure that everyone who has access to damage your server and your community is uh, under control, okay? Is, is definitely not compromised. So temporarily disable your administrators and your moderators, take the powers away from the roles or remove them from the roles and then verify that they have um, revoked their own tokens and then, you know, let them back in. So. In order to do that, you need to verify your administrators and your moderators out of band. So what I mean by this is you must not 
trust any messages, typed messages, that cross Discord servers. Don't trust any message uh, containing information that is typed or text on Discord. Don't trust any messages that are sent, you know, via DM. You need an out-of-band verification that that person has updated their account and that person is who they say they are. So, uh, use Twitter or Instagram or text messages or a phone call. If you need to, you can use a Discord voice channel and have a phone conversation with them if you've had that conversation before. You can do things like ask the um, ask the administrator or, or moderator a question that they cannot search the answer for that has something to do with your relationship historically that they won't be able to quickly search and find. So if you know something that you like have a private in joke or something like that, then, um, you know, ask them a question to verify that they are them and uh, make sure that the person on the other end of that account is definitely who you think it is. Stratify your management roles. So um, there's no reason for one role to have all of the powers to affect your server. If you need moderators to be able to kick uh, people from your server, then give a role the ability to kick and put whoever you need in that role. If you need them to be able to ban somebody, then create a role that can ban and add only the people that you need to be that you trust to ban users from your server the ability to ban. If you need somebody to do server management, make roles, make chain channels, things like that, then make a role that has those permissions and allocate as few people as possible to those roles. And let me say this, there is never any reason whatsoever for you to give this power to anybody. There's no reason. The administrator button is the most dangerous button that you can empower a user or uh, a role with, especially a robot. And I say that as a person who provides a robot that needs administrator, this is a very, very dangerous power. Your administrator role does not need this button. Okay. Your administrator role maybe needs to be able to create and delete channels, create and delete roles. Almost never do they need administrator. Do not give this to anyone. Let's talk about roles. Okay, you should avoid the generic roles like uh, admin and moderator. When a villain attacks your server and gets access to your role hierarchy and they can see, um, oh, there's an admin role. Well, it probably has admin. Now they're probably gonna inspect it, but if they're not being careful, um, they, they may just assume the admin role has admin power and put themselves in there or something similar. So you might use a, you might use a fake out account you might use a fake out role where um, you have a role called moderators and a role called admin, but don't actually give those roles anything. Uh, you may have some roles up higher, like something else or, or whatever, and you actually put the roles and powers in there. But whatever roles that you have at the very, very top, make sure that they're visible. That's called hoisted so that you can um, see who joins those special roles. And you need to know the roles on your server that are powered, okay? So if there's 50 roles on your server, but most of them are decorators or something like that, but five have management powers, you need to know every one of those roles and you need to know who's in those roles. So when a, um, when a role joins that list and, in, and gets up in that hierarchy that you don't recognize, you need to be able to spot that and flag that right away. Disable your DMs. Um, I've been saying this for a long time. Everybody tells me that I'm crazy, but this is a great way for you to protect yourself. And I'll give you a couple of good reasons. One, if you're engaging in DM conversations with someone, then, then those people are engaging in conversations with other people. And those DM conversations, which are kind of private, a, a villain can get into a, an account that has DM conversations and he can use information from one DM to manipulate you into believing that he is the actual user in another. So if my friend Sleepy is DMing me and Sleepy was DMing other people, Villain can mine the other people conversation to pass me information to convince me that that is Sleepy. So 
Avoid DMs altogether. Keep your conversations in a server and in some regard public. If that's among public among your administrator team or public among your moderator team or broadly public to your server, that's fine. But let other people be there. Don't be alone in these conversations with people. Um, and, you know, this is how you can get tricked and sent direct messages that are these phishing messages or bad links or something like that. I'll give you a second reason to not have DMs. I'm an adult. I'm an old man. Um, some of you are like me. You're just playing this game, but you're an adult. You're an old man or maybe an old lady. And uh, there's no good reason on earth for you to be having a private conversation with a minor. Okay? So turn off your DMs. Go to your personal setting account. Switch this little button right here that says uh, allow direct messages from server members. Turn it off. Turn it on. Turn it off. Toggle it. Hit that button and make sure that it's off on all servers. I mean, you can be discreet and you can allow um, direct messages on some servers, but generally as a matter of policy, turn these off. Just don't accept DMs. Okay, check your DMs right now. If you have conversations that are muted, like this, darker color than others, and let me move my big head. Here's Corgi, here's Phil, here's Sleepy Link, here's Mad Titan. If you have muted conversations, this might be an indicator that your account has already been compromised and uh, they haven't changed anything. They're trying not to alert you, but these muted conversations mean that um, a villain, if they're in your account or have access to your token, can send messages as you to these people, and when they reply, you do not get notifications. You don't get a red button. You don't get a light. You don't get anything. And there, the villain is able to carry on a private conversation while you are still in control of your account, and you will not become aware of it. So check your conversations for, for uh, muted um, muted conversations and uh, check those out. That's, uh, that's not a good sign. Okay. Uh, if you're not certain about a user on your server, kick or ban, okay? It sounds drastic, but there's nothing permanent about this. A kicked user can always come back. A banned user can be unbanned once they verify themselves. But if your instinct is telling you something's wrong, get them out of there. Because as long as they're there, they have access to other members on your server to send them private messages via your server as the link. So as the interconnect. So... On Discord, you can only send people private messages if they're your friend or you share a server, okay? So if you are not certain about somebody, toss them. Just throw them out. And then if they're a legit person, they can t contact you on Twitter or on some other platform and be like, hey, man, let's clear this up. But um, protect yourself, protect your people first. Just get rid of them. And trust your instinct, okay? Sometimes your uh, mind can say, oh, that's a good reason. That's a good excuse. Uh, this, this, this is plausible, a plausible ex excuse for this behavior or conversation or, or whatever. But your instinct and your gut can tell you something's wrong and I don't know what. Something's wrong. I don't know what. So when, you're, when your mind and your heart are in conflict, I keep pointing the wrong way. It's reversed. When your mind and your heart are in conflict, trust your instincts. You have those for a reason. You can figure it out later. If, a, if it se something seems wrong, it's probably wrong. Toss them. Get rid of them. Guys, trust no one. Don't trust people just because they talk to you. Don't trust people just because you have a history of conversations. It, it This has nothing to do with malicious or, or, or being... Um, uh, hurtful towards people. It's just safety. Trust nobody. I'm JJW. I hope these tips help you um, stay safe. Leave a comment in the description down below. If, uh, if you haven't seen my longer video about the attack on UMCOC, uh, it's 90 minutes long. It's a very detailed um, examination of the audit log and uh, some additional logs that I have. And uh, I go through step by step everything that happened to me and then to the server and, and everything uh, to, to, with as much knowledge as I have currently. Um, 
and that's it. Thanks, everybody.